there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Simple steps for a standard blood draw. First, gather all the supplies, then wash your hands. Remember, soap and water is the best. Now you're gonna don gloves. If using a straight needle, attach the adapter here. Position the patient with their arm hyperextended. Apply the tourniquet three to four inches above the selected puncture site. Then have the patient make a fist. Identify the vein, wipe with alcohol, and allow it to air dry. Then grasp the client's arm firmly and hold the skin taut to anchor the vein. Insert the needle 15 to 30 degree angle and attach the tube and allow it to fill until it's about three quarters full. When the last tube to be drawn is filling, remove the tourniquet and remove the needle. Apply pressure with gauze once the needle is out of the arm and secure with tape or a band-aid. Mix and label all appropriate tubes and dispose of contaminated materials and sharps. Veins can sometimes be tricky to locate, so here's a few tips on how to find the best veins. Heat is a great vasodilator, so use a warm compress or simply run hands under warm water for about five minutes. Now, gravity is also your friend. Increase blood flow to the arm and hand by letting it do the work for you. Simply dangle the extremity to a lower level below the heart. Or you can have the client swing their arm like a windmill, inducing force which dilates the vein. Hydration, hydration, hydration. Offer the clients fluids. When the body is properly hydrated, veins become more dilated. And remember, relax. You can do this. Need to use a tourniquet on a client's fragile skin? Well, here's a simple hack to prevent skin tears and bruising. Simply place a towel between the client's skin and tourniquet before putting it on. This creates much less pulling and pinching of the skin. Trust me, your client will thank you. When drawing blood, it's important to pay attention to the order in which tubes are filled because some tubes contain additives that contaminate the specimens of other tubes. An easy mnemonic to remember is boys love ravishing girls like dieters love Greek yogurt. This goes for blood cultures, L for light blue, R for red, G for gold, L for light green, D for dark green, L for lavender, G for gray, and Y for yellow. If you remember this mnemonic, you won't have any trouble remembering the correct order of the draw. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.